Okay, so I stay low. I'm always protecting my legs. Okay, I don't want to give him any control. I move to the side. Okay, I want to make sure he's in this position here, like more like sideways, because it's easier for me to attack him. Again, if he's flat on his back, he's gonna open his legs, and it's just so hard to go around. Okay, to pass. So I feel like it's always easier. It doesn't matter like how you're trying to pass. It's always easier if he's sideways. Okay, that's one thing I do. Like. Or I keep in mind when I'm playing guard, I want to be on my back. I, I don't want to be sideways. Every time I'm sideways, I feel it's easier for the person on top to go to half guard, get the underhook, control the head, do something. You know what I mean? So like, if you're on bottom, always there. It, it makes more sense. If you accept being sideways, you're giving leg drag, you're giving cross step, you're giving long step, you're giving knee slide, you're giving everything. Okay. So that being said, if I'm on top, I want to put him sideways, okay? So that's why I move side to side, because I want to, I want to sit this position here. He's sideways, he's trying to follow me, he's framing. Okay, so he's giving me the chance to go here. I bring my knee under his leg, like scooping his leg, and I trap, boom. Okay, I'm strong here, always moving the back leg to maintain the position, because he, he's pushing, he's fighting, okay? So if I just stay here, I'm gonna be off balance. So the back leg is always moving to keep my balance. I'm always driving my knee right here against his uh, shin to maintain the position. I actually, I want him to push hard, okay? I feel like when I'm like balancing here, like putting pressure, he fights hard because it hurts his leg, okay? It's uncomfortable. So when he pushes hard, I bring my knee back, boom, and I drag the leg. Then I go to the old belly. If the knee comes back here, defending the guard, I can use my knee to fight his knee. And then pass. So you see, that's one option, number one, okay? So number one, you go here, you trap the leg, you maintain the position, you make sure you don't put your head down. You're gonna be giving the collar grip, that's annoying, okay? So keep your head away. This is the posture, okay? You're, you're using your arms, okay, your hands. You put pressure there. The guy's pushing hard, you bring your knee back, you don't walk back, you just, you just extend your leg. And then because he's pushing, he's, he's doing, he's gonna leg drag himself. And of course your hand's gonna be helping. So you go like this. Then I can block his knee, going knee on belly. Sometimes like if the guy's fast, I feel like he's trying to bring his knee towards his chest to replace the guard. I use my knee to drag his leg again. And then get there to leg drag or knee belly again. So that's option number one. Option number two, same position, you trap the leg. Okay. Now, his goal, of course, is to always close this space here. Okay. What I wanna do is stretch him out. Okay, so, I, so it's easier for me to pass. Every time you're passing, if you let a person bottom like ball up, it's harder for you to pass. Even if I pass, now he can scramble, he can like invert. So that, that's not good for me. I get to the side, but then I don't stabilize the position. So if I'm passing and I stretch him out, it's always easier because I, I can put my chest on his chest, boom, and that's it. He's not gonna recover the guard now. There's no way to turtle or invert or scramble, okay? Keep that in mind. So what I wanna do now, I trap his leg, I wanna stretch him out by pulling the knee. You see, he's stretching out. He, he wants to bring his knee towards his chest and ball up, protecting his chest at the side control position, okay? So if I go here and I pull his knee walking back, moving the back leg, I'm stretching him, creating space here. Then I can step there, close my hand, end up here, okay? Back step, you do the back step, you end up in side control, then you just need to fix your posture. Like, go to normal side control, shift your hips back. It's, it looks hard, but it's so easy to do. You go here, look. you trap the leg, you open up space by pulling the knee, I step in. Once my leg's dead, it's dead. It's not, there's no way it's gonna just push the knee. All the weight's there, then I drop my hand. I'm sitting on him, you see? Then he's push, 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 great job. Whoa. Get to side control. Okay, so you just you open up space, you step there, 
Post your hand. Simple. Work again. You don't need to do like a crazy back step in the air. No, just post your hand. Good. Trap the leg. Pull the knee. Step. Pose. That's it. Come on. And I just switch back to side control. Stabilize. Okay. Uh, another option I want you guys to drill. So three techniques. Okay. So the first one is just the the normal knee on belly. Boom. The other one, the second one, you pull the knee, open up more space, step, post, and pass. And then the third one, can you scoot back a little bit? Thank you. The third one, you trap the leg, you're right here, and before you're able to do something else, the guy's already kicking you, he's stepping on you. Okay. So every time this leg comes, I need to leg drag him. Okay, leg drag is the answer for this situation. I'm trapping one leg, he's trying to kick me and, and create space. But now, of course, there's different ways you can do the leg drag. So when he's going here, I can just go outside hand and push his leg. Leg drag and pass. Another one I like to do, I go under, go right there, catch the leg. So when I see the leg coming, I go here, boom. I go under his leg, catch the leg and drag. I want you guys to try like, and see which one you feel more comfortable, but you have to use a leg drag here. In this situation, if he's stepping on me, trying to kick me away, if I smash him, I help him to invert, to recover the guard, to bring his hips up, it's easier for him. It's like if he's stepping, if he's stepping on a wall, it's easier to move, to create momentum, okay? So don't, when the guy steps on you, don't smash, I'm helping him, okay? So in this situation where he's trying to step on me, I need to just like redirect the leg. Oh. Is he stepping on me? Oh. Leg drag. He's trying to step on me, I go on. Yes. Okay? So again, really fast. You're moving, you create the opportunity to trap the leg. I trap the leg. Option number one, pressure. He's fighting back, oh. new belly. Option number two, I pull the knee, open up space, step, pulse, and drop. Stabilize, eventually go to side control. The third one, trapping the leg, controlling the situation, he's fast, he's trying to kick my chest. I can go, I can go here, the first one I was showing. Just C grip, leg drag, close the gap, and pass, or you can go like super low and go under the leg. When I see the leg, look, boom, right there. And then I like to drop my chest and windshield wiper. You can go here and cross a step. I love that one too. You can cross a step and pass. Or you can drop your chest, your legs will be light, and then you can windshield wipe. Pass it. Okay, so. Whatever you feel more comfortable. I feel like the, the cross step is faster. The windshield wiper, you close the space faster. Okay? So whatever fits better for your game. But both are amazing. Okay? So let's go. One, two.